What is going on everybody? Welcome to the fifth Kiwi Basics with Python tutorial video. In this video we're going to just be slowly adding upon the last video. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this now Simple Kiwi 3. Simple Kiwi 3, save that. And my referenced KV file will be Simple Kiwi 3 over here. Okay, so... Let's just run that and make sure I did everything correctly. I did fancy that. Okay, so uh, like I was saying before, what if, uh, for example, you've got, um, let's do, uh, let's take button here. So we've got widgets, button, and then you've got, we see here we have a um, font size 40, font size 40. Well, what if we did this? Like font size 40, okay, that's fine. So I'm just gonna cut this. And now we'll come here and let's say button as the parent colon one two three four paste font size forty. Whoops, forty. Save that. Uh, let's run that now. And you can see now we've got size forty on both buttons, but we didn't have to specify that uh, because we're using now a parent button. So we could do the same thing again. Uh, let's say size we'll cut that oops paste that position needs to be you know custom and then you know color could be the same as well I like green better so we're gonna do green and we'll get rid of color and we'll get rid of size so now we just have position and text for example so save that and we can run this Oh, they've run into each other. I guess it would be the position that screwed up. Let's go back over here. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, okay, so so position. <laughs> this one needs to be 170. Uh, save. Uh, there we go. So Kiwi, tutorials, fancy. Okay, so we can kind of see now, uh, hopefully, that uh, where the power of these Kiwi, um, the key, using the Kiwi language can come in is where we have kind of like these global variables now, of course, you can you can kind of do this within the Python script as well. So it would be a little messier uh, than doing it this way, but you, you can. You can do that. And so it, a lot of it is just going to depend how much dynamic code do you want, how much uh, kind of structure do you want, and all this kind of stuff. So anyways, that's that. The only uh, other thing I'd like to do now is let's, let's talk about position, and we're going to talk about a little bit of uh, relative positioning. So, for example, what we could do is, we've, you know, size, that's totally fine. Um, size, though, size could be um, a bit of a function as well, but what we're going we're gonna to do uh, position for now. So let's say we wanted to position something uh, near the top. So how might we do that? Well, let's do with Kiwi, and let's say, um, let's say we want it... Uh, position will do root dot x comma root dot top um, and this is and then we have to do minus self dot height okay let's save that and run that make sure that works and then I'll explain what's happening okay so we've got Kiwi now right at the top and Kiwi will, or should at least, remain at the top as we resize the window, and sure enough, it does, and the window has changed. Obviously, we can also see tutorials uh, moves as well. But anyways, closing out of this, uh, let's explain what's happened here. Okay, so what's happening here is you've got root.x. That's referencing the, the x of the root, right? So the root widget, which would, or the root app, rather, which would be simple Kiwi, you know, app, right? That's our root class. And then root.top is referencing the top of that app. And then self.height is referencing the self of widgets, right? Self is that specific widget, and we're referencing the height, like I was saying before. So 0, 0 is the bottom left. So if you positioned a button at 0, uh, zero or let's say, at, let's say the window is 100 pixels tall and you position the element at 0, 100. That is the top left corner of that window, but then the button is drawn above that point, so the button would be off the screen. So we use minus self.height uh, to move that button's you know, bottom left down the height 
of the button, which is actually referencing here the 75. So anyway, uh, that's how that's what's going on there. So that's a little more um, dynamic of code, and also kind of shows what I was telling you before that you can put some Python logic on the other side of these colons. So anyways, that's going to conclude this, this tutorial video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. Until next time.